This video is sponsored by Telomobile. A little earlier than most of us expected, the second beta of Android 12 is now available for Pixel phones. And this one is one of the meatier builds that we've seen so far in terms of cool new things to play with. Take a sec to subscribe to Android Central for more Android 12 and Pixel goodness coming soon, and we'll jump right in and find out what's new in Android 12 Beta 2. The first and most noticeable change in this build is that Google's new Material U design language is finally here in abundance. The colour extraction feature that Google unveiled at I.O. 2021 a few weeks back is now live, pulling complementary colours from the Material palette to match your wallpaper. That means you'll see various controls, buttons and widgets taking on hues to fit your backdrop. These are sometimes bright and colourful, sometimes a bit more subdued, and it's clear that this is still very work in progress, so definitely expect the balance of colours here to change before Android 12 is finalised. Also worth noting that no apps have been updated to use Material U just yet, including Google Apps, so you'll only really see these colours on the lock screen, launcher, settings and places like that. There are countless other visual changes in this new build as Google dials in on the new look and feel for Pixel phones. There are yet more changes to be seen in the notification shade and quick settings panel with this new black backdrop and very slick animation. You'll also see some new icons up top for cellular connectivity, and in a pretty big change, if you're on Wi-Fi, you will no longer see cellular signal bars. They'll only show up if you're actually using mobile data. There's a lot more to dive into in this quick settings panel though. First up, you've got new tiles here for Google Pay and smart home devices. You'll see your default card here if you have one set up, or tap the button to view more cards. Incidentally, in this latest Android 12 build, you'll also see a lock screen shortcut to your Google Pay cards if you have any set up. And the new device control panel is basically a shortcut to the smart home panel that used to live behind the power menu. Like in Android 12 Beta 1, the power menu here is back to being a simple grid for shutting down, restarting and the like. Another big change to be found here is the new internet panel, which replaces the Wi-Fi toggle and is designed to make it easier to switch between Wi-Fi and cellular data. Tapping the shortcut brings up this new panel for quickly switching between the two, or you can drill down further and view the new internet menu, which has a bunch of extra options, including bizarrely the option to reset all of your connections if you're having any problems. There are a few changes to be seen in the Pixel Launcher 2. Apps now use the Google Sans font by default in the home screen and the app drawer. And certain widgets now have a neat transition animation if you use them to launch into an app. Speaking of widgets, the much-hyped Conversations widget is back in Beta 2, and still pretty basic in terms of its functionality. Actually, in this build we're seeing even less information in the Conversations widget compared to before. Either way, it's still pretty much just a shortcut to any of your recent message threads. Something else you'll notice if you try previous Android 12 builds is that some of the animation jank in those earlier versions has been addressed, and there are a few more nice visual flourishes like the weight of the font changing when the phone is charging, and the new notification shade effect that we already mentioned. Plus the ripple animation when tapping menu items is a bit more subtle with less of a glitchy effect to it now. So plenty of fine details being tuned by Google in this second beta. This video is sponsored by Telomobile. Here's the thing that nobody tells you. You can afford the latest phone if you're smart enough to save on your phone bill. With Telomobile, you never pay for more than what you use, and what you use is absolutely your call. Tello gives the controller to the customers, so you get to build your own plan and add minutes and data as you please. Popular options include unlimited talk and text plus 1GB for $10 a month, 4GB for $19 a month, and 8GB for $29 a month, no fees whatsoever. What Tello is basically saying is anything your carrier can do, we can do better and cheaper. That means no contract, great website, pay-as-you-go payment, free hotspot, and human customer service. When you find a smartphone that completes you, no need to worry. You can bring it to Tello while keeping your number. Point taken. Get more for less with Tello Mobile and use those extra savings on your phone bill to finally get your hands on the smartphone you want. The next big thing to see in Android 12 Beta 2 is the new Privacy Dashboard. This was another major feature unveiled at I.O. a couple weeks back, which aims to show you exactly when apps are using sensitive permissions like your location and your camera. It's all laid out pretty simply here. There's a breakdown of which sensitive permissions are most used overall. Then you can tap any of the options to see an exact timeline of what apps are doing with your location, your microphone, or your camera. To make it even easier to see when apps are finding, looking at, or listening to you, you'll see these icons in the status bar when an app has activated a sensitive permission. 
Of course, it's on the actual developer to explain why they're using these permissions, but just the extra visibility that the privacy dashboard provides is really great. Time to quick fire through some other features and changes before we wrap up. As first spotted by XDA's Michelle Rachman, apps will now continue to animate when you enter the Recents menu. For example, if you're playing a video, it won't automatically freeze the visuals. Nice little change there just to make things feel a bit more dynamic. And there's a new quick tap gesture activated by, you guessed it, double tapping on the back of your pixel. Options for this gesture include taking a screenshot, viewing notifications, or opening the Recents menu. And you can even bind it to a custom app, which could open up some pretty interesting possibilities. Some changes to Picture-in-Picture -picture mode too. The corners of the Picture-in-Picture -picture window are now rounded in line with Android's new design language, and the way you resize windows has been changed too. Now it's only possible to reshape it with a pinch gesture. So overall, a more polished Android 12 to be seen in a second beta build, and the new Material U design language is definitely coming into focus here. We're in line for three more beta builds of Android 12 before the new OS is finalised, likely sometime in September, so stick with Android Central and subscribe so you don't miss future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.